So, uh, I was recording a video on installing um, Windows on a, and Ubuntu dual boot on an external drive, but I forgot to stop the recording before rebooting and the file is corrupted. And since the apps to repair MP, mp4 video files are very cheap uh, I will just shortly explain what I did so it's the Windows part is very easy you just have to wait uh, download the latest version of WinNT setup yes now click here uh, boot eyes, then the SSD or hard disk drive that do you want to install Linux or Windows on, parts manage, repartitioning, and then just like uh, write how many space you want to give uh, to if you want two or more partition or just one for windows then with partition table and that's all now you just uh, reopen the app search for the ISO file uh, select where is the ESP and then where you want to install windows the license or version or whatever tweaks if you want to tweak something on the system and setup and that's all yes yeah, so this part got corrupted sadly also instead when you click setup you will have a window and you can select uh, like the boot sec maybe or well something about boot and it will say UFI or BIOS select all because it will work with BIOS and UFI there so then I booted to Ubuntu using Yumi on another USB uh, did the default install normal installed third party hardware yeah uh, after waiting, so yeah, I selected something else in the installation type, selected the boot loader installation into the Windows boot manager, the partition for the system, uh, it was SDA4 for me, um, okay, then it switched the boot loader again to SDA1, and the bootloader installed it on the wrong drive. I don't know why the hell it switched. It, it did it two times for me. I had to reinstall it two times. On the second time, I just went to to the boot like from Hiren's boot CD. Went to the partition that is ESP or EFI and just copy it to the files from the other drive to the one that I wanted. I didn't record nothing, nothing because it was already 2 a.m. It was morning almost, so I said that's enough for me, that's enough for Ubuntu for me, and that's all. And it solved the problem. So if you if your bootloader installed itself on a different drive, just use Hiren's boot CD to copy it from that drive to the correct one, and that's all. I will make some more videos about Ubuntu, but for today I had enough. Thank you for watching. See you next time.